Hello and welcome. We are at the Semtech booth. I'm here with Randy Ryan, who wants to tell us about the new t newest development Semtech did and the newest products they show on their Correct. booth. So first of all, hi, welcome to uh, our booth. Uh, Semtech is a semiconductor company. We make a variety of products and what we're showcasing here today is our LoRa based products. Uh, LoRa is a, uh, a wide area, uh, low power technology that provides uh, uh, capability, uh, wireless connectivity for IoT type devices, particular sensors and, and devices that require low power and very long range. And what we're demonstrating here today is our newest platform, which is called LoRa Edge. LoRa Edge works in conjunction with our LoRa Cloud product. LoRa Edge is the concept of de device to cloud. So we have an, an evaluation board here today with one of our products, and that product is connected to LoRa Cloud. And what we're displaying here is basically our capabilities to communicate via the cloud to our device, what we call modem services. And it's demonstrating today here, today, what we're showing is that we're measuring the temperature on the device and we're able to upload that temperature to LoRa Cloud using our modem services. And we're able to show different types of statistics about how the upload is functioning, how the device health is, and, and various features like this. Now LoRa, Cloud, LoRa Edge itself is what we call a geolocation platform. It's able to provide GNSS and Wi-Fi capabilities. And, and we process those, uh, the information, the data that the LoRa Edge uh, uh, platform receives in the cloud. And so the customer is able to use your low power transmission technology and also your cloud services to have a full ecosystem. Exactly. For the so LoRa technology. everything combined provides basically this device to cloud solution for both uh, for all kinds of different IoT applications. So we're we're very heavily involved in the asset tracking space, for example, smart agriculture, um, uh, smart cities, metering technology, smart metering technology. So everywhere where there's a need for very low power, long range type of connectivity, you'll find lower based solutions. And with your current product, um, the question that customers may have, how is the general availability of your chip sets and your chip products if they want to start a new development? Can you, are you able to tell us a little bit yes, about it? Yes, I can. So for this particular demonstration here today, LoRa Edge, we have a, a product called LR1110 and another product called LR1120. Those are available today in the market. You can come to our website and visit our website and find the information on how to get started on those products. And LoRa Cloud is, of course, a fully functional cloud service that work, that, that is enabled today. And for the LoRa Cloud platform, I'm also then be able to access my own um, interfaces to the AWS or to other services to move data around for further processing. Correct, so we work very closely, for example, with AWS. And so you're able to go to AWS to build your IoT solution and leverage LoRa Cloud as a component within your cloud end product. That sounds really interesting. It is very interesting. If you need more information, please come to semtech.com and you can find everything out about our LoRa uh, portfolio. Hi, my name is Karthik Ranjan and I'm LoRa Cloud Partnerships and Solutions Leader here at Semtech. So we're excited to talk about a new cloud service that we're launching today called LoRa Cloud Locator. Uh, you heard from my colleague Randy about the LoRa Edge to LoRa Cloud solution for asset tracking, which combines a chipset on the edge, which is LoRa Cloud uh, Edge which connects to the LoRa Cloud service within the cloud. So the LoRa Cloud service is a component API, so it takes the scan messages from the device and uses the cloud to then calculate the latitude and longitude. What we're launching here today with LoRa Cloud Locator is a complete SaaS service, which is built on top of LoRa Cloud, but it helps customers to get the full experience to not only get the latitude and longitude, but actually see their dot on the map and to be able to track the device, it maps it by Wi-Fi location, by GNSS location, and it also gives customers the ability to try multiple different LoRaWAN networks, both private LoRaWAN networks where customers can bring their own gateway and configure it with the service, or they can try any number of public networks that we support. Out of the box, we're happy to announce that we support uh, the Things Network, we support Helium, we support Orange, EveryNet, and Senate networks. So that means a customer that wants to dive into LoRa and also 
into your new products can have a, I think you told, kind of free account for a few limited devices. Can you may tell a little bit about it? Yeah, that's right. So what they do is that they go to locator.loracloud.com. That's the landing site for the new service. And the first thing they'll notice is that there's a number of trackers to choose from. So you see here on the wall, we have several LoRa Edge design trackers that we built. We have Semtex, which are our own uh, EVK and our reference design. We have trackers from uh, Miro, um, Miramico, as well as Digital Matter. Um, and we also support an on-device GNSS tracker from Broan. The reason for this is because we want our customers to really experience the battery life benefits of LoRa Edge. And so they can purchase any of these trackers. We've worked with two distributors, one in North America called Calchip, and one here in Europe called Indesmatech. They hold stock of all these trackers, so you can order that tracker from them. When you receive that, you then go to the locator site at locatorloracloud.com. You register for an account, it's completely free. You register your tracker first with all the details you get from your distributor. And following that, you then choose any of those networks based on where you're located, what networks are available there. And then you should see your dot on the map within a matter of minutes. If I want to build my own LoRa Edge device, can I just edit? Or is it just limited to the uh, current supported tracking devices? Uh, that's a great question. At the moment, uh, we have to integrate the locator into our service. So today, we support uh, uh, six devices, but in the future we are adding more LoRa Edge devices through our partners. So if I want to build my own or would try to add my own, is there a way to do it or I have to be just not a in small independent developer, but if I have to do I have to go bigger for that? Uh, if you build a LoRa Edge device and you have it uh, available for pr production, then you can come and talk to Semtech and we'd be happy to work with you to get it integrated as part of a locator. Okay. And I mean, the launch is not at the time of shooting done, but is, is there anything else then you can already guide our viewers to where they can look for the latest information besides, is, is there an, an video announcement or a press release coming up? Uh, yes, there is a press release coming up at 11 a.m. Uh, Central Time today. And so that will talk about the service and the availability. And I encourage people to go to the site directly, locator.loracloud.com, that is the URL and there you can experience the service yourself. If I now develop my own device, do you provide any assistance in terms of software or in, in LoRa stack? Uh, yeah, that's right. So if you go over there, they have LoRa Basics modem, which mm -hmm. is designed to work with LoRa Edge. Uh, we have this EVK that we mm -hmm. provide. It uses an ST discovery board. So you can use any microcontroller of choice, but there is software available uh, to use with this EVK that you can use for development to build your own tracker. So, if you're out there and like to try the LoRa technology for your next project, may have a look at the Semtech site and their actual press announcements and also their software and SDK to get started. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Thanks for the interview and have a good exhibition. All right. Thanks a lot.